Her name is Colleen LaRose, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman living in suburban Philadelphia, now known to the world as Jihad Jane. She's been accused of aiding terror suspects and planning to kill a Swedish cartoonist whose drawings had angered Muslims. Her boyfriend of five years says he had no idea LaRose was interested in any religion. They lived together on the second story of this home until she moved out without warning in August. I didn't know anything, yeah. Everything seemed normal, so this is just uh, overwhelming. I don't have the time to be, uh, you know, talking about it forever. I really don't know much, so I guess it's probably better to find out from people that know what's going on. But it's just, it's, it's strange and upsetting and just still can't believe it. Members of this all-American community say the news of LaRose's arrest is unsettling. It's a very scary thing and there's way too much going on in this country that we're not aware of. So we're probably better off actually that we don't know. Just let everybody else handle it like they're supposed to. Federal officials say LaRose is one of the few cases where women have been charged with terrorism violations. The feds say it is also a case showing how alleged terror groups are recruiting Americans to carry out their plans. But one expert says he's skeptical about labeling the Jihad Jain case as one of Muslim extremism. On the surface of it, it would appear that she was uh, a woman who needed uh, a great deal of attention and, and uh, found uh, solace in the internet. And, you know, it, again, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. LaRose continues to be held without bail following her indictment on Tuesday. No further court dates have been set. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.